it's like now maybe. Come on. Look at the lioness. She's out? beautiful. Because he's trying to be king, that's what. Yeah, nothing like king around here. That must be his queen. Come on, Judah. You gotta come outside. She's beautiful. I never saw a lioness often. Come here, Judah. Wow, look at how graceful that was. Come here. Yeah. You come, Medulla? Okay. Looks like his wife wanted to take his place. Why is he called Judah? Well, Judah is a, it's a biblical name that is given to, um, I can't, I, I can't remember the exact story of, Ju or, of Judah the lion, but it is a, it is a, number one, it's a biblical name, but there, Judah is also commonly seen in the lions, um, and so he, he does have that kind of more biblical name, um, just kind of what he came with. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, feed me, like a little bird. A big bird. And he dropped a piece. Uh, but Judah here, the, these two cats, the, this is going to be kind of, we'll have kind of a running story for the next several cats we'll talk about, um, and it will culminate in when we go see our cubs here in a second, or our juvenile lions. Um, Judah, Matu, Judah, this is Judah, that is Matula out there. Leo is the big guy that we'll go see in a second, and then Nikana and Niara are our other two females, uh, or adult females, that is. And these, all, these cats all did come in together. They, uh, they came in from the same place. Unfortunately, that was a, it was a private ownership type in, or kind of uh, set, system. It was privately owned, these were privately owned animals. Um, a little differently than kind of the old, the, the kind of pet type situation in which Judah Matula, or the, these five cats were more, <laughs> were utilized more as, again, a way to make money. Um, these cats were basically rented out to facilities to utilize their, utilize them for shows and things like that. Um, their story is very weird, um, why they're here. The individual that owned Judah Matula, or, or owned these five cats, did essentially abandon them. They, he stopped paying rent on the facility he was utilizing these, or keeping these animals on, um, and so it required these animals to find a new home. And we gladly accepted all five of them, and when we first brought all five in, uh, they were young enough where we did feel comfortable having them live together. You gotta close your mouth, I'm not gonna hold it here. <laughs> um, we did have all five that lived together on the sanctuary, but as they started to get older, there was there was number one the obvious need, but also it did show that you know Judah and Leo might not get along very well the rest of their life. They're two big adult males, uh, or when they become adult males, they might not get along as well as they did when they were cubs or juveniles. Um, so we did go ahead and, and preventively split them up prior to any kind of incident ever occurring. When we split them up, we, we did pay attention to the fact that, you know, lions are a social species. They do like to live with other animals. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to hold it here. He's quite the physical comedian. <laughs> um, lions are a social species, and so living with other lions is a big part of their life in the wild, obviously. Uh, because of that, we did keep them with companions, and the way we did that is we paid attention to who was, who was more closely associated with each other, and Judah and Matula were always very, very closely associated. <laughs> Leo and Niara were always very closely associated, and Nitana just didn't really care that much about anything. She did her own thing all every day. Um, but... <laughs> Where this story starts to like, become a little is interesting is, is coming into the reason as to why we have juvenile lions on our sanctuary. No, apparently. Feed Matula here. Oh. Yeah, we'll walk right out over here. <laughs> 